Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to the AI only battle of Greece. Today we have the Greek city-states battling versus Macedonia versus Thracia. All three nations are going to go up into a 1 versus 1 versus 1 free for all. Armies chosen at random with 10,000 denarii. So it's different from the last one which was the battle of um, the North or something, I can't remember. It was ages since I recorded. Um, that was between Gaul, Britain and the Germans and with like unlimited money. This they're actually limited in their money and instead of it being whoever's last alive at the end, it's a score based match. Um, which from what I've heard means you get more score for the more kills that you get and it depends on the value of those kills. So it should work better. It should work for this free for all uh, Total War Battle Royale style AI only battle. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So, what what army are the Greeks going to go for? I'll let the computer decide, and there we go. So they've gone for full stack, they've managed to get 20 units in there, which is good. Uh, weirdly, we got like three catapult units, those will be interesting to see. A cavalry general, um, oh, an actual general's armoured bodyguard, so they haven't gone for like a peasant unit as I was worried they would do. A lot of missile cav, which I don't like, uh, but you know, they can do whatever they want. And not many phalanx units, a few Cretan archers, but not many phalanxes. Anyway. Macedonia. Ah, a few peasants have gone. Yeah, very peasant heavy. Again, three catapult units, that's weird, but. And they've got. They've got some phalanxes. Uh, more than Greece, but not the army I expected. And finally, Thrace. Yeah, some phalanxes. Missile have again. Catapults. Where is it with everyone's obsession with catapults? And some peasants just to fill in the gaps, sir. So, there are the armies, who's going to win, uh, you could have voted on Discord um, a couple of days ago, um, check out my Discord if you want to vote as well on which faction you think is going to win next, uh, yeah, next week's, let's go. And so it begins, the three Greek armies meet in the Macedonian plains on this map, a weird bit of high ground and a weird tower in the middle, uh, that's me there just doing the AI only, I just bet it, I'll probably die at some point. Uh, that's fine, that's meant to happen. Uh, Macedonia was in the middle, I choose the middle faction by a random generator by the way. Actually it's just called a dice and it's by my side. It's, it's not as technical as a random generator but if you're wondering that's how it is decided. Uh, but it shouldn't matter anymore in this score based resolution thing. Um, because you get points for getting kills and it depends on how valuable those kills are. So, we've got some cavalry charging in. Uh, Macedonia, is this the general unit? Now I think it's just a normal cavalry, but they've also got um, some catapult fires coming in as well. They've done a miss most of the catapult fires, can't imagine those doing much. But chasing back the, uh, the Greek uh, missile, missile calves, so it be interesting to see if we can get any kills there, or are they just going to... Nope, they're going to get flanked and caught, and yeah, a lot of them are going to die. Ooh, catapult fire still coming in. Meanwhile, Macedon, they're sending most of them in right now for an attack on Thracia. Uh, they've managed to uh, root some of the peasants and it's just loads of cavalry charges. Ooh, they charged the cavalry in the back of the phalanx, that was good. They're losing the cavalry now, so they don't want to pull out of there, but they've got a lot of kills in that charge. Thracian cavalry moving round as well, trying to do the same flanking manoeuvres. But there's, there's a lot of uh, spear units, a lot of these phalanxes, so it's definitely done being uh, difficult for them to use the cavalry. And yep, there we go. Ooh! Oh, they were so close, I thought they were going to get caught. Instead of doing a chase down some Macedonian uh, javelineers and they didn't really avoid the phalanxes. The should see this. Your army are running. They almost deserve to be slaughtered. Oh, they're coming in with some of these, um, what are they called? Um, I'm, I don't know how to pronounce that, but they're coming in with some of those. Very tough units, like really high melee damage. I like them. Especially in the campaign. Anyway, Greeks now, they're here to try and get involved, charging in with some other cavalry, uh, chasing down some cavalry javelins being thrown everywhere. Ah, it's, it's interesting so far. It looks like the Macedonian catapults have been silenced by some Greek cavalry units. Yeah, and they're done a break soon, so. Yeah, that's not good for Macedonia. We've got a lot of troops retreating as well. The defense, have they done much? Have they done enough so far to actually try and get the win? Macedonia have lost their banners for some reason. Oh. 
and just trying to pick a few cavalry as we're trying to retreat. There's a lot of pikemen around. Uh, some Phoenicians, some are Macedonian. It's I don't know why, but I think the banners have bugged. Nothing I could have done about that. Ha, huh, weird. Yeah, anyway. Oh, we've got some phalanx, some phalanx, but it's going to get them in the back. Oh, they've of course got these, like, uh, heavy attack units in the back. Oh, now they've turned around. They've realised where the real danger is now, but they're going to get chopped to pieces in the back by these units. So, yeah, that was very good by Thrace, there, for managing to uh, flank them like that. Oh, they formed like a weird circle formation for a second there. Okay, so the Macedonian general has fallen. So that's done across big morale penalty on them. That's the first general to die. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that's going to affect the strawberry if the general dies or not. Um, we'll, we'll of course see all that at the end. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Lots of Greek cavalry around, and a lot of uh, Thracian troops as well. Most of the fighting's happening here. Uh, Thrace, yeah, they're, they're very heavily surrounded now by these Greeks. They're probably going to retreat soon. Uh, I'm struggling to see many Macedonian troops. There's, of course, these phalanxes here, uh, which are going to get some Thracian uh, phalanxes in the back. Uh, whilst fighting some cav as well, so that's, that's like a weird battle there. Um, no, they're Greek. I can't see any more Macedonian units. I think that's all they have left. Yeah, that's not good for them. Thracian javelins coming in at the Greek peasant peasants as they try and run. Ooh, what's that up there? Wow. <laughs> Just cavalry on the hill. It looks really epic from back over there. Drive them from the yeah, Thrace and... Ooh, we've got some Macedonian archers retreating. Um, I wonder if they managed to get a few kills on the side round, uh, but it looks like they've killed the Greek cavalry and now they're just going to move back down and get back into the battle. <laughs> the peasants just got chopped to pieces as the cavalry charged and yeah, and there are the break. Where are those Macedonians? There we go, they're running away. Um, I've got some Greek cavalry in here uh, chasing off some uh, Thracians, uh, some of their javelin ears. Can Thrace get their reinforcing cavalry in there quick enough? The Greeks trying to get a defensive here with their hoplites, just try and reform the wall, but they don't have enough. They don't have enough phalanxes. That's that's what these factions really lacked. So I try and get some javelins thrown in at the cav. I'm really unsure uh, who's going to win this. I'm, 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 I think the Greeks. Um, oh, someone's general's retreating. Like um, I think the Greeks are going to survive the longest, but it's, of course it's all about that score. Um, who's going to get those points at the end? Yes, yeah, so much retreating. What do Thrace even have left? So they're fighting some. Um, hoplite units here with peasants, they're not going to do that well. Uh, they've got the hoplites flanked though with some units, but the Greeks, uh, they just outnumber them at this point. The gods be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee! Right. Our face completely routed. Okay, so it seems like the Greeks have won the survival, uh, but it's all about who has won score-wise. And there we go, the battle is over, the victor has been decided. Interestingly, what I like about this is I actually waited um, until everyone was off the field, apart from one faction, which was the Greeks, uh, to allow them getting more kills. I liked that. Um, so there is a benefit of actually surviving to the end, you get um, extra points for our like, well, extra time to get extra points to run enemies down. Anyway, as we can see, um, the Greeks clearly won first place. Um, they they killed 1,150 and lost almost a thousand. Um, then it was Thrace in second place, getting 1,200 kills and only um, oh no, they have 200 remaining and the Greeks have 900 remaining. Um, yeah, they had a lot of remaining troops did with Greeks, so they were definitely the toughest in this. 
Um, but then again, Macedon and Thrace, they started fighting very early on. They weakened each other quite badly, and then it was just the Greeks who could easily walk in and uh, clean up whatever was left. Um, and then, of course, in last place, we have Macedonia. 616 kills, and they basically lost everybody. Well done, Greece. Um, yeah, and hope you enjoyed. Um, of course, please put suggestions down for other videos that you want to see. Um, I'll tell you like three days in advance, uh, like what the faction is, the factions are going to be for the, um, I will of course say about three days in advance in my discord saying like, uh, what, uh, this week's factions are going to be and you can vote for which faction, uh, you want to win in the discord. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope to see you in the day next one. I'm hoping every Saturday my schedule. Uh, a bit unsure about it right now, but the, the current plan is every Saturday. Hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.